Hi, I'm Jeff Patterson. This is Daniel Tran. We're going to pick up with some more knife techniques today. Uh, this drill that we're going to do today we call the U-pattern drill. It's the first one uh, of a series of different U-pattern drills that we play. And this drill is for uh, one person with a hammer grip like this and the other person has the ice pick grip. So uh, Daniel's going to feed me in the hammer grip and I've got my ice pick grip. The first one he's going to feed is the high line here. The U pattern, we call it a U pattern because it's shaped, the striking pattern is shaped like this. So he's going to feed me the high line, the low line, the thrust in the center, low line on the backhand, and high line on the backhand, so on this pattern here. So the first one, for the high line on the forehand, I do a double inside deflection. I come back and I jab with the, the dagger, not aiming at his face, off to the side, and he's going to bring this hand through and come up with that backhand thrust, as I can either do a double outside deflection or I can check and slice as I come up, and then I feed the strike, and he's going to check me here. I clear that and hook it out and come through here. This one, if I feed the ice pick grip and he does this check, it's important once we make this connection, we're kind of a little bit off to the races here because if he turns my hand out, he can disarm me here. But as soon as I feel that, if I hook that out, he doesn't have the opportunity to do that. So this is a good drill to train where I can just work that and then that would be for me to maintain control, but then we could also train it on the flip side where we're doing this and as soon as he touches, he's twisting that out. And he can work on that timing and that rhythm on that one. But for, for now, we're not doing the disarm. Um, we're just playing the pattern, but I wanted to throw that in there so you could see that. So again, he feeds that high line. Good. Now we're basically going to use that same pattern all the way through the U. So this time he feeds me the low line. Instead of stopping it, I'm going to pass and cut, but then everything else is the same. Then the thrust to the center, pass and cut, jab, hit here, then the low line on the backhand. Now on this side, I'm just going to check and slice as I come up here and then I thrust and do the back half of the pattern. Again, he feeds, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then he feeds the high backhand. Again, the same here, or I could do that double outside deflection and go here. Now, that's the basic technique or flow for each one. Now we usually play it where he starts on the number one, goes to the seven, goes to the five, goes to the six, goes to the four. So when he feeds me the high line, we go through the pattern, then he comes into the low line, the thrust, backhand low, and backhand high. And then we would step back, switch the grip, and now I'm the feeder. Then we do that same pattern. Then we step back and change, and come back in and he'd feed again. <coughs> All right. So that is the, uh, the first U pattern series that we play. Again, it's kind of a fun flow. You can mix it up. You can isolate each one of those techniques um, or just link it together like a little flow drill like that with the breakout and then break back in. And if you were watching the last video when we did the caveman collie, when you do the break in, if you want, when I'm out here and I'm moving around and I'm the feeder, I could initiate on the five. I don't have to come back on that one. I could come in on the back end and just kind of make it more random so they've got to follow along and uh, just get a little sharper on the timing and how to respond with that uh, ice pick grip. So thank you for watching. Uh, again, we're putting out content uh, every week. So if you like what we're doing, please subscribe to the channel down below. 
um, so you can get notified when we put new stuff out there. And uh, we appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.